hello everyone welcome to my channel cryptoware so today we are going to start with the analysis of another ransomware and we have chosen WannaCry because the video is focused on the beginners so we want to choose something very simpler before moving on to a more complex sample so as we know like uh, in my previous ransomware analysis where i had chosen locky it could not perform the uh, encryption until and unless it connects to the c2 server so this time we are going to execute the sample first to see whether it is getting executed or not and once we see that it is getting executed over the uh, over the vm and then we will start with the analysis of it so what is going to happen right now is after executing the sample we are going to see what happens here what are the different changes so while we will be debugging the sample and uh, i mean analyzing the sample through a debugger will be more clear on what should we checking on next so again disclaimer this is my virtual environment if you are going to execute the sample please use a sandbox environment a virtual environment few things that we need to check is that are we having any shared folder because we do not want to execute uh, or execute uh, we do not want to encrypt any of our uh, document or folders from uh, from the host machine so there is no shared folder we will also see that whether the shared clipboard is disabled or not and drag and drop so this is the thing so wanna cry if you remember used to get executed i mean um, used to transfer or um, spread through smb and i don't think this is windows 10 that i am using i don't think it is going to happen here anymore because it was because of eternal blue and i don't and that is the reason why I think that the encryption should happen, but maybe the uh, lateral movement may not happen. We do not have to think about that. We have closed all the, um, like, whatever folders or networks that it was trying to connect to, although we are connected to the internet and we'll let it happen for now. Um, so we are not worried about anything else. So before executing the sample, we will try to check uh, look at some more things like whether your virus and threat protection is turned off or not because we do not want it to detect the sample um, what else are we going to do we will open process hacker uh, or procmon will be a very good option here I'll use procmon rather from where we can actually uh, actually see what is happening now, to be honest, we can use Process Hacker, Wireshark and my one of my previous video, I have also shown that how you can perform dynamic analysis with minimal tools. I'll share the link of the uh, of that video in the description below. You can check that out. So something similar to that we are going to do. But at this moment, we just want to see what is happening. What happens when this sample gets executed? So we'll prepare our... Uh, like the procmon we want to see what happens over here we have still not executed the sample so we'll just click on process name is we will add it over here and i'll directly execute the sample make sure that you are in a virtual environment i'm telling it uh, uh, i have to mention it a lot of time because this is our responsibility to analyze the sample and whenever you're suggesting anyone to perform the analysis they should also be doing in a virtual environment so make sure you're doing that in a different network in a virtual environment so that you do not end up infecting your host machines or anybody else's machine so i'll just double click on it i hope it got and you see so many things are getting created so this is something that we we should be checking let's see what's the process name Not see the process name or what? Just a minute. You can see the encryption has already started happening. You can see the extension is changed. Meanwhile, here it is. We missed it before. Yeah, we are kind of slow that's totally fine we want to just see what 
are the things, what are the processes that it ran, what else is going to happen. There is some Indonesian dot uh, wanna cry in Greek. So maybe it uses a, some kind of language thing that it is doing. Japanese and so many things are here. And I think the folder, what happened to it? Did it get removed? No idea. You can see so many wanna cry. They got created over here. We have a decryptor, maybe. There's a message, okay. Um, is it? Okay, no problem. So the encryption has more or less happened. Um, let's see. Yes. Here you can see that it has encrypted the zip files. So whichever files there are, it has encrypted those files. I do not want to make any changes over here. So what I want to do is, yes, you can see this wanna decryptor 2.0. It's It has provided the address, Bitcoin address over here, how you can decrypt, check payment, and everything is over here. And you can see that it has changed the background as well. Restore from antivirus, quarantine, run, follow the instructions. So it will keep on running. The other thing that I wanted to see is, yes, please read me.txt. Okay, so you can see it has its readme file as well over here. And yes, so I'm glad that the ransomware works. It is successfully able to encrypt the system. Now, what I want to do is go through my process monitor and I want to see what it does. So you can see there are a number of processes over here. If you want, you can also uh, put filters on regular expressions and everything as well. So it will be easier. So what we see that there are a lot of write file operations that have happened. Create files are also there. There are some temporary files or something related to, okay, it will keep on coming continuously, it seems. And our virus and threat protection has found the antivirus and we do not have to worry about that because we have process monitor. So our next work is analyzing this process monitor. So we'll just go back to the end and see what is it trying to do. Create file. Okay, let's just jump there. Okay, okay. So basically, it is just trying to encrypt. Um, there's so many things that are happening. So before performing the encryption, the process of encryption, it does drops a number of files which we observed in that folder. And we observed some changes that were happening in the desktop and in the folder as I mentioned just now. After that, we observed that the encryption has happened in some of the folders. And then the final thing was the change in the background. So we observed that. This was the rough flow of the entire process of encryption that WannaCry followed. So here you can see, okay. So write file is the major thing that it has done. And there is task dl.exe as well. So this is also something which is interesting. Um, it is writing to these files. And that is the, I think, end of it. So it has encrypted all the files, whichever is present. Query full size. Um, okay. Let's see if we can go for any operation. For example, TCP. Just randomly. 
if we can see if it is making any kind of connection with the internet or somewhere we just want to know that so no it is not making any thing of that sort what are the operation that we want to see we can look for the yes registry open key could be one we have registry set value could be one that we can choose the right file we have observed a lot we can also go for tcp connect let's try this maybe we had tried it in a wrong way so let's see some of these operations there's something interesting that we can observe so yes there are different uh, keys that have been opened regex keys okay current version so there are some registry changes registry usage ha have uh, has been done and the right file we are very much aware of this this is something very interesting reg set value will jump to this and we would want to see okay so under software hkcu software warner cryptor so it has set a value over here which is quite interesting so it has made some registry changes and the right file operation is something that we are going to see a lot because that's what it had been doing um so whichever files it observed it has encrypted them all so before i was not a very big fan i'm uh, till now not a very big fan of you know running the sample directly but uh, since we have we observed previously that since we're using some older and simpler samples so i chosen locky but during analysis i observed that it cannot encrypt unless it connects to the server and the c2 server was offline uh, was not active anymore so to keep the simplicity of the analysis of the sample i had to choose something which are older and i wanted to use a ransomware so i had to see also that what happens when it gets executed so i wanted to see if it is getting executed uh, into the device properly and then only we can start with the analysis so i personally would analyze the sample first i would statically analyze i would do some sort of reverse engineering i would try to perform uh, debugging as well before directly executing the sample so yes there's nothing much to see here now we are going to see the analysis in a debugger uh, i'll be using x32 or x64 debugger and uh, make sure that before executing the sample you create a snapshot of it so that after the after encrypting uh, you can get back to your previous snapshot and we will start with the analysis of the uh, of this ransomware sample using debugger so that's it for today uh, thank you so much for supporting please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll come up with the next video on analyzing the sample using debugger and we'll be seeing what are the cryptographic algorithms that are being used and how it how these are being used and how the encryption the process of encryption is happening so bye bye see you in the next video